Hello everyone, my name is So Munger and I'd like to welcome you guys all back to more Pikmin! In this episode, we start with Elf as he just saw his ship crash land. What a bummer. But it's a miracle. I'm alive and somehow unharmed. He must have farmer's insurance. Da 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 da. Is that the insurance that always appears? No, nope, that's State Farm. State Farm is there! With a new ship! For Elf. No, okay. Just as SS Drake was about to land, we lost control and had to make an emergency escape. During the chaos, I was separated from my other two team members as well as the ship itself. I feel like this guy would have like, a, like a really like voice like, hum, hum, What's going on you guys? Come on, come on! But I think it'd be funny to just give him like a really deep one. As the ship's engineer, it's up to me, Elf, to find both the SS Drake and my crew members. You know, because it's kind of ironic. He's got the baby face. And I actually switched from Wii U pad to Wiimote and Nunchuk. So, I'm trying this out. I like this a lot more, which is surprising because I'm not a huge fan of, like, the motion stuff. And here we have a red Pikmin. <laughs> what was that? Or, excuse me. What was that? The scare had a little high pitch in me there. But, that's, that's like one of those moments, whoa, 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 too high, I can't get back. Hold on, what's, okay, one of those moments where you hold the Wii mode all weird and it gets crazy on you. Come on, really, really, there we go, got to unplug the battery, I did set it down before I started to record, that could be also be white, alright. Why am I walking all goofy? Oh my goodness. What is going on here? Alright, I'll be right back, guys. I apologize for this. I don't know what's happening. Alright, we are back. Finally. I just had to unplug the nunchuck from the Wiimote. So here we go. It appears that the specimen I spotted has company. It's like a little dangly thing with suction cup feet. And what's that stuck in the branch? <laughs> it's a cherry with suction cup feet. Come on, everyone knows that. Is there anything I can do? Whistle these guys up. Ooh, they responded. Of course they did. Oh. <gasps> Woohoo! Nice. It's like victory. Sweet, sweet victory. Wait, is that my ship? Wait. And now it is. I was hoping that it was fruit, but it doesn't appear to be edible at all. Nevertheless, the red fellows seem quite pleased now that it's free. Alright, so this is our ship. Hey, they're following me. Stop following me, guys. Stop it. Stop it. So, as you see here, we'll throw some Pikmin. For those of you guys, I know a lot of you guys like don't know what Pikmin is on my channel. So, you throw a Pikmin, they pick it up. And they return it to base. Or they take it for themselves! Where are you guys going? Oh, okay, they're making a bridge. They're making a bridge. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. That's what I wanted you to do. That's what I wanted you to do. Alright. So those continue to work. Until you, like, call them off from working. And Pikmin! I know last time we didn't really get into it because it was, like, the intro. And this is still the intro. What is this pile of rubble? But you plant them in the ground, and they grow. So, you're, like, their daddy. So let's pick this guy up. Have him work on this stuff too. So then you kind of just wait. You just kind of hang out and wait. It's, you know, it's a peaceful game. Great environment. Great stuff. Let's see what's over here. I think this is where we. we coming over? Nope, this is where we dropped off. Okay. I could use some more helpers. Alright, so. Of course. You guys are male or female, or you guys can help me out, make some more helpers. I mean, yes. But we all know that's not where Pikmin come from. So, we're making this bridge. Soon we will get across. And we will find our Game Boy Advanced. Oh, my my my, my cop pad. That's that's bad. Thank thank goodness I found it. I can use it to locate the SS Drake. All right, build that bridge. Build it. Build it. These guys are excellent builders. Just excellent. And they like don't like care. They're like you, you know what? We'll work. We'll work all day. We'll work all night. We don't care. Just as long as we can hear that whistle and work for you. No strings attached, we just love to work. It's, it's like kind of a weird scenario, I guess, if you think about it. 
Oh, where are you going, bro? Stop. And you can just whistle and then they'll come back. They'll come from like a mile away or anything. Let's pick up our pad. Booyah. An iPad. I always wanted one. No, I can FaceTime with my best gal. Look at the Wii U gamepad. I'm looking at it. Woo! Looking at it. Okay, so now we got a map. You guys see exactly what I see. Great. It works, of course. I'd expect nothing less from Copadet Engineering. I'll check my surrounding by tapping and sliding the cop pad screen. Alright. Whoa! Dropping stuff. Where is Drake? Alright, let's find Drake. So here we are. You guys can see what I'm doing. I should follow that signal. So this is kind of cool. There we are. There we are. There we go. There's his shit! We found Drake! Ah, the SS Drake. Oh, it's not a person. I thought it was a rapper. But I guess it's a ship. Isn't that far from here? Maybe the other two crew members are there as well. I'd best head in that direction. You better. You better. Our sense of direction, it's pretty good. I have a good feeling about this elf guy. No! For some reason, the Wii nunchuck does that sometimes. When you, like, hold it and move around. But, I'm going to show you guys. Okay. Whoa. Okay. That, this is like my lock, I guess, apparently. That takes 20 Pikmin. Come on, guys. Where, where, where are you guys at? Oh, right there. Just workers, I tell you. Just always sitting around, trying to get out jabs. I'm just like the biggest boss ever right here. I never help him either. It's like, yeah, you, you do that. You do that. Yeah, take that down. Take that down. And in all honesty, that looked terrible, what he was doing to that plant. Poor plant. And then these guys, okay, so... This is like a little mini tutorial inside of a game, inside of a YouTube video, inside of a computer. See, they take them back to the ship, and then Pikmin come out when you collect those. So each one... It's popping out! Oh, sort of sprout! That's my astonishment. Oh my gosh, now here we come and pluck. Woo! We got more Pikmin, woohoo! Just like plucking a carrot out of the garden. Red Pikmin! Yeah! Nice. Ah, I see. So this is how these little creatures propagate. How incredibly fascinating. Technical terms, I tell ya. So Elf, pretty good scientist. And you can just press A once around them all and he'll just like run around and pick them all. So, now we got seven in our crew. And let's just say these guys really, 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 really like these red things. For instance, oh, let's give him some health. You can put, you can overload them, as you guys can see. Doesn't matter how many are on there. If I can get them to throw or get on there, get out of the zoom mode. Okay, so it's two out of one. Pretty sure you can probably do more than that, but whatever. All right, come on, let's pop them out, pop them out. Yeah, yeah. The ship just popping out babies. Just. Like, I'm not gonna, I'm not going there. I'm not gonna go there. I'll lose a bunch of subscribers if I go there. Especially during such a nice, friendly game. Alright, so let's pick these guys all up before I get myself in trouble. And, ooh, nice. So we got, oh, what's this? We got a slug. Kill the slug! Yes! Violence, little guys. Training my army. Yes! Go! Woo! Take them back. Take them back. Look at their little ghost float away. I love it. They're just like the cutest guys ever. But then all of a sudden they smile and it's like, Arr! I'm going to get you. And then they just come flying at you. That'd be the scariest thing. It's like the slug's like, oh, I'm just waking up for the day. Just waking up. Just going to go find a leaf to munch out. Oh my gosh, what is that? And all of a sudden, I thought we were friends. I tell you, humans come through and they ruin everyone's environment. I mean, look at America. Look at America. For I mean, that's just one example. One example. And this is the only example I need. Look at the planet Earth. That's another example. And now we have Pikmin, of course. Alright, so now we are stacking up. Getting lots and lots of Pikmin. Let's pluck these guys. Pluck them up, pluck them up. Good day for plucking. Alright, is that all? And we have 16 in the field. The little bars on the right. I know a lot, a lot about this because I, I did play Pikmin 2, but I don't know like technical terms, but I do know like how everything kind of works here. We have 16 in the field, which means total, and then 16 in our squad, and we'll be able to have like different squads at different times. So, how many do we need for this box? 20. Okay. 
that doesn't hold 20 pounds. Of course. When they thought about it, they were like, hmm, how many little red, little sprout walking animal thingamajiggers will this take to move this box? You know, as humans, we think about that stuff. Yeah, you know, 19. No, let's go. Let's go with even number. 20. Ooh, I like that, Bob. I like that. I like that. And Bob was then promoted to manager, where he went on to have a good job, but was depressed with his boring box folding life. Poor Bob. Eh, he had a family, kids. Died of old age. Bob. R.I.P. We're gonna miss you. Alright, let's pluck these bad boys. And then we should have 20. Even more, hopefully. Pluck it in. Pluck it in. Ooh, 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 yeah. Alright, so we got 21. Oh, yeah, we won up this box. We're gonna one up this box. Alright. So break this box down, fold it. I got a package to send later. Let's do it! Come on, go, 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 Ascend under the cardboard. I know it's like a little thing, but for Elf here, you gotta feel like super powerful. I mean, look at he just commanded that army to do that. They're just like to his every need. He doesn't even care. He doesn't know where they came from or what it is. And what is that? So we find a treasure. Our first treasure. Looks like a file on PC. I don't know how it's virtually in front of us right now. It looks like something... So, or excuse me, it looks like someone's left a data file here. Perhaps the copad will be able to read it. The copad? I don't know. Probably screwed that up. Oh, let's look at it. Oh. Okay, so you guys can see that it says, Pikminology, numeral one. The onion is like a nest for the Pikmin. It both gives birth to them and provides them with shelter. Mothers. Mother onion. Makes you cry and it smells. Alright, excellent. The cop pad will read the file data, so these creatures are called Pikmin. This information might come in handy later on. I'll save it in the cop pad's exploration notes. Alright, so we get notes and whatnot. Okay, so here, oh, we're installing <laughs> Windows 95, I tell ya. Kinda slow. Alright, then we got some notes right there. What are the other options? Oh, look at TV. I don't think... Captain Charlie wrote this data file. So who did? Was it you, you little guys? Are you guys knowledgeable? The last thing I want you to know is knowing how to read. Because then you're going to be independent. Could there be an intelligent life forms on this planet? I love how he says that just like right in front of him. Like, uh, we're standing right here, buddy. We're, we're, we're standing right here. Yeah. Elf, I tell ya. Alpha Rooney. Alright, I've been talking for a long time. So next time on Pikmin, we're going to pick up right here. Don't forget to thumbs up, favorite, and subscribe if you want more Pikmin. It definitely helps me out and helps the channel out and everything like that. And I really, really appreciate it. So I'll see you guys all next time right here.